Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from ClimateViewer.com. Climate Viewer News. I'm over here. Uh, did you hear last night? Did Metropolis get nuked last night? Uh, hold on Superman fans. The Honeywell Uranium Processing Plant apparently had a leak last night around 7.35. It's 3.49 UTC. Um, went through. Uh, Christina has already put up. Rad Chicks already put up a great article on uh, all the details here please come over and check it out great stuff we've got a repeat offender on our hands and we're going to put them on blast so let's hop over here to climate viewer 3d i have uh modeled uh the location and the transfer it's under alerts click on nuclear and honeywell uranium processing here and what you'll see is all the details including her uh article here Stuff from uh, RSO Edis on the, the release, two videos. You can click here, hop over to the Facebook page where the videos were posted. You can actually see the blowing steam. And we have a second angle on that as well. And what you'll see is allegedly these are steam generators to help wash the uranium out of the air and it's standard procedure but regardless you've got a big plume coming off the facility everybody's really scared in the city of metropolis so let's uh see which way the the winds blowed last night um i did a high split model on that that's what you see here and uh, i did a couple runs on it just to make sure it wasn't any error so I put one at the start at the Honeywell plant, one over here at the Paducah gaseous diffusion plant across the way. Uh, they had a hurricane or a tornado hit there uh, last year. We did an article on that as well. Um, and then another one from Paducah itself. And what you'll see is here's your wind direction, here's your plume direction, and it does have a time slider associated with it. You can see this is at about 4 o'clock UTC, and then 5 and 6 and so on. So this is the direction of travel of the plume. If there was a very large plume, it would be headed this way. So let's see where it's headed. Coming through uh, Princeton, gotta love that. Washington, up here through Bloomington, and Lima, Finley, and towards Toledo. So that's your direction of the wind travel regardless of what you heard from other YouTube channels. <laughs> um, not blowing east, blowing north uh, east. And uh, I did that over here on the high split model. This is the Air Resources Lab. We did a compute archive trajectories. Here is my trajectory for the record. I put in the date starting time, three o'clock originally, and I ran uh, three different passes on that at 500 meters. So there's your wind directions. Um, again, we have a chemical leak from a repeat offender at the Honeywell plant. I suggest you come over and read uh, Christina's article on it. I pulled this from there. Um, as you can see, in September, they had a hydrogen release caused a loud explosion. 2011, I had to pay a $11.8 million criminal fine for improperly storing hazardous waste. Again, more fines, two major releases were reported uh, here and here in 2012, and another $90,000 fine for three dangerous releases. So, wow, there's a plume map from 2012. Oh, God. If you guys wonder why we track nuclear facilities from around the world, if you're wondering why we, we put all this work into it is because of stuff like this. Uh, you never know when you're going to be the next lucky recipient of a gaseous emission from one of our local nuclear facilities. So please be aware of your local nuclear power plants. And uh, we are working on uh, this right here, Warheads, Waste, and Storage. I would like your help and ask uh, the public to participate. If you know of any other facilities like this Paducia, uh, Paducah gaseous diffusion plant, the Honeywell plant, the Pantex plant down here, um, we want to go ahead and map them all out so that we can keep an eye on them. So please help us out over here at climateviewer.com, climateviewer3d. And again, my name is Jim Lee, and uh, I map pollution. Uh, rad chick she's our nuclear chick she knows her stuff um 
you know, come check us out, come help us out. And, uh, to the people in, uh, in and around Metropolis, uh, it looks like the plume blew out of your way. This is also available on our 2d flat map over here. So if you don't have 3d, you can come over and check out the Google map, same plots, different style. Uh, but it looks like, uh, it blew out away from, uh, from metropolis over the shawnee national forest and northeast so hopefully there was not a large release and it was all washed out into the forest before it got up here so let's uh let's keep an eye on these guys and keep them honest and keep them clean and uh unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot nothing is going to get better it's not thanks rad chick great job on the article y'all come check her out over here clientviewer.com rad chick and uh of course i'm jim lee i have a page too <laughs> but we won't be clicking it today love you guys mean it uh stay safe out there